Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day seven of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, yeah, still walking a little bit more. I've been going to the gym, uh, just obviously not doing foot things. That sounds really kinky. <laughs> I don't know why it came out that way, but uh, but in any case, so yeah, I'm doing okay. No, uh, and I'm not doing squats for obvious reasons, but uh, but just at least you know keep everything moving, keep the blood moving. I think I'm getting better, but I, it is kind of funny, right? Because I I do want to talk about this only because it relates to, you know, I mean you could draw parallels. I, look, you're you're smart at home, um, but uh, is that uh, I haven't really walked naturally in about three weeks, maybe almost four weeks now three and a half weeks um and even though my pain has subsided enough i probably but but it's kind of weird honestly in the sense that i do not know how to walk if that makes sense like i'm trying to walk normally uh and i just just everything like when i try to walk normally it feels so unnatural um and i have to like be very conscious like my mindful about how to take every step to kind of walk normally because i'm still limping a little bit even though i mean yes there is still pain but it's manageable enough that i should be able to kind of at least practice walking if that makes sense um and it's only been three weeks right so so yeah so i think that's kind of like amusing and i don't have to tell you i've been walking most of my life huh? i have a lot of practice and yet you know, it, it takes you only like three weeks to kind of uh, 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 um, tweak your learning things. And I'm not even like, you know, and I'm not trying to learn it, right? I'm not trying to learn how to limp. Um, but in any case, um, so th all that said is that, um, you know, if you take a break, it's okay. But it's also like, you know, set reasonable expectations when after you take a break, right? Like, like I said, I've been walking all my life and I'm just like, hmm, why am I still limping? Why am I like... Even when I'm not limping, like I find myself stopping. I'm I'm trying to be very conscious about how I use my muscles, my leg muscles, and all these things. And it's all like if everything feels very awkward right now. And like I said, it's something that I've been doing all my life. So so of course, if you kind of uh, draw that to like lead code and stuff, of course it's going to be a little bit tricky um, if you take a time off. But you know, uh, it should be just like riding a bike, but easier. Uh, the walking, I mean, lead code maybe a little bit harder, but still. So uh, hopefully. Um, I get back soon enough and I'll be able to kind of start running maybe next week or the week after. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Life is funny like that. All right, let's take a look at today's problem. We have 3160. Find the number of distinct colors among balls. Okay, among the balls. I don't know if that's better. You're given an integer limit and a 2D queries of size n minus or n by 2. The limit plus one balls of distinct labels in zero to limit. Initially, all the balls are uncolored. For every query in a query, do, 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 you mark X with the color Y. After each query, you need to find the number of distinct colors among the bars. Okay. And I think the, um, I, I don't have it 100% yet, but I think one of those things is that um, you have to keep track of, well, one is that, what, what is the, the invariant here, right? Is that the, the, the answer after every query can really only change by one, right? Meaning that you either have a new distinct color or you remove a new distinct, or, you know, or I guess it could also stay the same. But what I mean is that plus or minus one within, right? So that kind of gives you an idea on how to kind of like change anything, right? Because for every update, even though it's called a query, I don't know. But anyway, for every update, it only changes one thing, right? And what I mean by that is that everything stays the same and localized. So you can kind of pre-process everything um, because all you're ever going to do is change one thing. Um, and as a result, this should allow you to do... Um, uh, 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 it's a bookkeeping problem, right? And, I, and bookkeeping is not like, you know, any. it's just like in a, in a, if you're an accountant, uh, then you would just be matching everything to make sure everything is consistent in all the places that you're storing your data. Okay. Let's go. What is limit again? Uh, the limit plus one boss. Uh, why don't they just... This is such an awkward... Like, why would they just not, like, relabel this as limit? I don't know. Like, they could re use zero index and just use limit. Why? Why? What is this, like, crazy, cent crazy numbering scheme? Okay, in any case. Okay, I'm just going to do that then, right? So then... Uh, 
account is you go to uh hmm, how do i want to say oh well we have to get the current color is you go to collections oh no what am i doing is, is it zero or none can it can it be zero what were the queries x y let's look at the uh, queries the queries limit is from zero to uh, da, 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 da. okay so queries can not be zero so we can use zero times n and n is actually going to be just n is equal to limit plus one maybe that's a little bit clearer right uh and then that for the x y in queries well um we need to do another thing which is just keeping a frequency table right and that's it um yeah we there's no removing a color right you always set it to a new color at most Right? Because it has to be from one to some ridiculously big number. So yeah, okay. So pretty straightforward, honestly, at this point. Um, I would say there are a couple of ways you can think about this. Um, for example, we can write it in two different ways at least, right? Because here we want to set f of x is equal to y. Oh, sorry, f of y. Um, colors of x is equal to y, right? That's what we want to do. So the previous color is equal to colors of x, right? If previous is not equal to zero, then f of previous, do, 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 right? And then f of y increment by one. And yeah, and of course, when we decrement, we can just say delete f of previous if it is equal to zero, right? Because then we will remove it. And then now, then it becomes easier. It's just the length of f, right? So this is kind of straightforward, but I didn't actually intend to do it this way um, when I was starting to talk about all the things that I talked about. Huh, of colors. Right, give it a quick submit. Hopefully I didn't do a silly mistake. Ooh, memory limited exceed. Oh, is limited big? Oh, I didn't, all right, that's my fault. I didn't look at limit. <laughs> for some reason, I was looking at the color, but I saw this is, I don't know, I, I mean, obviously, I just didn't look at it. Uh, but yeah, this is just a lookup table, right? So do, 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 whatever. Just, oh, what? <laughs> I don't know why I wrote that. I guess that's just like a natural thing to write. Uh, you have to write, right? Um. Whoops. I mean, and everything is actually the same, but I, whoops, whoopsie daisies. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, uh, okay, anyway, <laughs> it's just embarrassed. I'm embarrassed a little bit. Eh, whatever, it's not that much. But yeah, this is going to be all of Q time, right? And all of Q space plus all of N times and all of N space for these two, right? Um, well, I guess all of N time is, I guess it's not all of N, I guess this is N, but this is the, eh, whatever. Um, yeah, it is going to be all of Q space. I lied. Yeah, there, there can be a, a most all of Q number of um, things inside F and colors. So everything's just all of Q time, all of Q space. Okay. Uh, what I was going to say is that, okay, th I mean, this works and this is a trick that might come into handy in some places. But I think one thing that um, I would just think about is just the invariant, right? So we don't have to use this. This is like a very uh, implicit, helpful way of doing it. But you can actually even be a little bit better. And what I mean by that is just that you have uh, just have an answer, right? So maybe C count for colors count, right? So then if the previous, da -da 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 -da, if it's equal to zero, then C count, we add it by one, right? And then now we set a color, right? Um, uh, well, we, we add, add one, right? So if F of y is equal to one that means it went from zero to one then uh you add one. Oh, I, I messed this up so it's minus right and then uh but and that's it so you don't have to even use anything funky with respect to like relying on deleting stuff from the thing right so as you can see i don't delete anything from f and it should be okay so that's another way to think about it i think this way is technically more um like it just comes into play more often uh, or, or is a more general idea that doesn't abuse this counter thing, which may or may not be useful. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, uh, like I said, everything is all of Q time, all of Q space. And that's what I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.